ones that cost me 32,000 has not been really fully finished especially if you go plus 20,000 pesos for the snacks that the labor will skyrocket to probably we did not render this area and what you guys can see behind me this is what you will be able to build good morning beautiful people how are you guys doing today i hope you guys are doing amazing welcome back to another vlog we are doing this vlog this early morning so that there is no neighbor that will blast their karaoke. Anyway, this video is going to be about how much did I spend for my sister's house building. I know since we almost finished this house, a lot of you commented and asked questions about how much did I spend for the house. So today that will be answered. So I have here the notebook where I listed down all of the expenses for my sister's house as far as I can remember and as far as I can think of that I wrote down here it is but I know there are going to be some things little things here and there that I was not able to write down so yeah we're gonna round it up let me share you first um what is the dimension of my sister's house so the dimension is 18 by 14 feet <laughs> now initially it's supposed to be eight sorry eight by 14 feet and that was not being pushed through because it's very small and we will have two bedroom for the house so what am i even thinking <laughs> that was the worst idea ever but then again as we move forward with the help of my uncle which is the main builder then we agreed to extending it so that we can have two bedroom inside a house so instead now the total dimension of the house is 18 by 14 feet the kitchen is actually eight feet in the length and the toilet is five feet all right so don't ask me how much is that in square meters because if you know me i'm the worst in math okay <laughs> all right now the initial budget for this house is 100,000 pesos or 2,000 us dollars now if you guys can remember that was june i think or may actually may um, it was Mother's Day and that was the time that I decided to surprise my sister for $100,000. If you guys haven't watched that video, I will have the link on the description box down below. So yeah, that was my little surprise for her in order for them to start up in building their house. And the reason why I decided to give her or gift her the 2K is because their house was actually being destroyed by Typhoon Adet a lot worse than what happened to my house. So that that's why that's the main reason okay and i think i have made a video about what was their situation of their house after typhoon of odette so if you guys want to look into that video as well it's on my playlist all right now we're gonna go with the materials of the house now look at this i don't know if you guys can see but these are all of the materials that i have listed down um the ones that i could remember first things first is we have about five batches of materials in order for us to start building the house so it wasn't just materials in one go because we were getting materials um, here in the countryside at the same time in the city as we go in building the house so first materials was 25,750 pesos i will have the equivalent in dollars on the screen so this materials includes metal rod cement the nails tire wire we have the sand and hollow blocks so this material is actually for the foundation of the house so that's that's where that's how we start building a house right and then second materials is gonna be the roof so we have the corrugated roof another batch of cement and then we have the sand as well and then welding rod 
and of course we have the metal so my sister's house is composed of metal and concrete so that's why we have a lot of square tube metals the rods and also cement and sand so the second material has cost me 21,820 pesos. The third materials, we have cement, sand, another batch of roof, which is gonna be for the kitchen, and another batch of square tubes. So that is 16,460 pesos. Fourth materials consist of another batch of cement. <laughs> yes, um, there's a lot of cement involved and hollow blocks for this house, uh, metal rods, and yeah, um, little things here and there. So fourth materials cost me 23,680 pesos. Okay, so um, I think this is the fifth materials. This is when we went to home builders. So that was a time when we needed to get the tiles. So yes, it's also, we also use tiles for the ground. I mean, for the floor. So that cost me 32,000 600 pesos so it doesn't only consist of the tiles though we also have the door for their toilet we also have the door locks the hinges we also have plywood for another door in their bedroom so yeah that was it and then here and there we added hollow blocks and then another welding rod and another sand and of course in order to render the walls um, we ordered a bunch a lot of fine sand so initially the total amount of the materials for the first phase of my sister's house building is 142,910 pesos. Now, as we go along, we've added a bunch of stuff. We've added fine sand, cement, screw bit, and then we also have the window. So if you guys can remember, we've actually used the window, um, which is what you guys can see right now. That window was my previous province house, so we didn't really um, spend a lot for the window. Um, we only added one window which is going to be here in papa's bedroom and that cost me around 1500 pesos and yeah we've added skim coat another batch of cement so the total amount for the materials guys cost me 172,650 pesos okay that is a lot isn't it so yeah 172k minus 100k there was 72,650 pesos in excess and then that's not even including the labor all right so for the labor, now initially, we do have two labors, I mean three labors only. So we have the main builder, which is my uncle, and then we have the helpers, which is Papa and Aten. And again, I only paid labor for my uncle, which is 600 pesos per day. That's the labor we have in the countryside. I know it's a lot higher or lower in the other region or parts of the Philippines, but where we are, that is the labor amount. Okay, so the 600 pesos per day actually includes lunch and um snacks in the morning and then snacks in the afternoon as well so if you don't give them lunch and snacks no if you don't give them snacks the labor per day is 800 pesos but if you do give them snacks and lunch that's why it goes down to 600 pesos okay so anyway as we go along i think that was half of the building of the house we've added another main labor which is um Aten's brother-in-law so we now have two main laborers and then two helpers so um, the total amount for the labor guys is 94,000 pesos <laughs> what the fudge yes my sister is just like laughing why is it so high yes that is the total amount of the labor um i actually paid them weekly so for the main builder which is my uncle i pay him 3600 weekly and then uh the other one as well so for pop and Aten, i just actually give them 
um, happy money. It, it's not even like a lot. Uh, it's just for them to, you know, um, be happy <laughs> for working. I know it is not um, easy to be working every single day and not have something. And I know it's their house, but yeah, um, we give them happy. I give them happy money. It's it's very small, but anyway. So yeah, ninety four thousand pesos. So where were we? Uh, materials again is 172,650 pesos. This is just an estimate, a rough estimate, okay? Because I was not able to list down every single little thing in the materials. And in labor, we have 94,000 pesos, all right? Now, we go to my mom's store. So mom's store, actually, we have 20,000 pesos. I actually rounded it up because, yes, we give the laborers, um, there's four people, right? So we give them snacks in the morning and then snacks in the afternoon. So in the morning, they normally would have bread, actually in the afternoon as well. So we give them bread and soft drinks or sometimes they get red horse just to give them some fuel. And then sometimes they have Mountain Dew or soft, some soft drinks as well. So I don't know how many months. Actually, we started May 18. I cannot forget this date. And then we finish, I think, third week of August. Yeah, so that was after my birthday. So May 18, May, June, July, August. So that was a total of three months of actually working or building the house. And three months of building, we have a credit in mom store of 20,000 pesos. Now, this credit is not just pretty much their... Oh my gosh, it's drizzling. <laughs> the, the credit is not just solely for their snacks, but it also includes you know the little things that we used to cook for their lunch so it's not even including lunch as well guys so we serve them lunch every single day so of course i have to go to the city and do some groceries and you know we just don't give them like vegetable soup every single day sometimes we have fish sometimes we have pork and chicken and stuff like that so we kind of switch it up but yeah i'm not gonna include you know the lunch that i give them because um, I also eat it and, you know, mom also eat it and um, everyone else. So anyway, yeah, so that was that was it. Now, I did not even include, you know, the tips that we give for the people that will help us put all of this stuff in the delivery truck. We actually rented a truck before to deliver the stuff and little extras here and there. Okay, so... How much is that? You guys will have to total everything, okay? So again, materials, 172,650 pesos. And then we have the labor, which is 94,000 pesos. We have the snacks in mom store, which is 20,000 pesos. And yeah, I'm not going to include lunch and whatever. So how much is that in total? That is, I wasn't able to even calculate everything. <laughs> I'm so bad in math. Okay, so let me see. Let me let me calculate everything. Hold on. Okay, so I'm back. Um, I decided to calculate the total, guys. So 172,650 plus 94,000 pesos plus 20,000 pesos for the snacks. That is equivalent to 286,650 pesos or... 5,000 US dollars and what you guys can see behind me this is what you will be able to build in the countryside of Cebu for your 5,000 US dollars but please note that there are some things that we use from my previous province house which is going to be the window which is going to be one we still have the skim coat and also the paint so we didn't have to buy paint because I still had uh, a bucket of paint um, in my previous house. At the same time, the labor is not going to cost you 94k only because again the two helpers I did not really give them the regular labor price, which is what 400 pesos per day, 500 pesos. 
400 pesos per day so yeah imagine if i will be giving them 400 pesos per day that labor will skyrocket to probably i don't know 120 or 30 thousand pesos so yeah at least um we were able to get a bit of discount for the labor since they are the one building it themselves all right so now that has been answered i hope you guys are now happy to know that for your 5k us dollars in wherever you are in the us so this is what you will be able to build now take note that the house has not been fully finished okay as you guys can see right here in the front this is the facade which you can tell that oh it looks finished but then again come here if you guys will take a look in this part the kitchen has not been really fully finished especially if you go inside now the other day we got tiles by the way for the toilet which was not being installed yet so yeah i'm gonna give you guys an update for that in the next coming days but for now the rendering of the kitchen has not been finished all the way actually to the back of the house so i'm gonna show you how does it look so that you guys will have an idea um of what has been really finished in this house so as you guys can see over here look this has not been finished we did not render this area and even if we go here all the way to the back of the house now this is how it looks so as you guys can see it's not been really finished that's how it looks and and now the um ceiling inside the house as well we're gonna take a look inside the ceiling inside the house has not been finished and i know a lot of you guys are bugging me and asking me questions about the ceiling why has it uh not been done yet but yeah this is how the ceiling looks guys as you guys can see um the roof you can see it from here and if it rains it's very loud and yeah, uh, you can see the wires everywhere because yeah, it's not been finished. So this is what you can get for 5K dollars. It's not been finished, but it is livable, okay? So um, they've been living here for almost a month now, I think, right? Yeah, for almost a month already. So I think it's been a month because you moved here August 2. Yeah, so it's been a month that they've been living here and though it's not been finished yet it's very comfy scarlet's laughing why are you laughing <laughs> oh you are looking tita in there wow are you happy with your house yes say thank you guys i have a house thank you guys i have a house is it nice yes do you like it yes and i love you guys love you guys <laughs> okay so anyway guys this is pretty much it um of my sister's house i am so incredibly happy that they are now living here that they were able to move here already and this is it so you know moving forward if we will have more blessings of course i'm still gonna help them try to get some things done for example the ceiling their kitchen and of course um, a bamboo sofa so that you know we will have a comfortable chit chat if we're here in her house because her house is very cool um i mean cool in climate um compared to mine so i love staying in here they are a bit up high than my house so that's why it's cooler in this area and yeah it's such a it's such a nice area to actually uh, build this house because you will have a nice view of the neighborhood at the same time it's cooler that's what matters because mine it's a bit hot but anyway thank you guys so so much for being with us in this journey and building my sister's house i am gonna be forever grateful my sister aten and scarlet and papa are gonna be forever Aten <laughs> are gonna be forever grateful for everyone that, ha that have watched the videos every single time I posted because that really helped a lot in continuing to build this house. Thank you guys all so much. I'm gonna end the vlog here. I hope you guys enjoyed this quick video and answer your question about how much did I spend for this house. And um, hopefully you will still continue to watch more videos please comment below if you guys have video suggestions i would love to know it and what do you guys want to see here in the countryside as always i will see you guys on my next one don't forget to smile and be happy bye